I have here uh, vintage enamelware. Couple small dents. Cup. Pot, approximately one quart. and a uh, coffee pot. Not too dirty inside. Yeah, it has a few, a few chips. But it adds to the character. Here are the kerosene lanterns. It's the skater's lantern. Don't see any markings. It is complete. This is the Embry. Embry, Warsaw, New York. Number 21D. And I'm not sure it's ever been lit. I don't know much about those. But that's the one you wanted. And then this is the Hanlon Red Railroad Lantern. Hanlon, St. Louis, USA. And here, stamped SP Co. for Southern Pacific Railroad Company. And uh, complete with the burner inside there. I don't know how to date these, but it looks in very nice condition. Okay, these are wooden boxes. Livy's corned beef. Good condition. Let's see how big it is. This is the Wesco box. Somebody opened the bottom on it. So that's the top. But it is a um, and no markings on that end. I guess you could probably put the top on the bottom and uh, make it so it reads with the writing right side. Yeah, I have a uh, Kelty external frame pack, Tioga model, I believe. I think this is from late 1970s. Got one large pocket on the side, two smaller pockets, pouch there with a uh, whistle and some straps, and then uh, have one large pocket inside. Has the extension bar. And it is a um, medium. Still soft padding. And the belt, original Kelty style belt. pack ink from uh, Sun Valley, California. So I think that was 1970s, late 70s. Some more items. Yosemite. It's another one of these Ansel Adam picture books. This one, I believe, is 1940. Book is originally from 1936, and this was the fourth edition, edition 1940. I think I gave you one of these before. It has pretty pictures of Yosemite done by Ansel Adams, showing all four seasons. And these are four coasters. They are uh, metal, 
made in USA. And uh, I'm not sure they've been used much. And then more copper. So the three of the... Um, these are uh, West Bend, late 1950s. Um, there are some dents in them a little bit. Might be able to work that out. Not too bad, they're all the, marked the same. And then this is a copper bowl. It's marked Copper Craft Guild, Taunton, Massachusetts. And that could be, I don't know, for nuts or flower pot or something. First here is a uh, outdoor research, uh, made in USA. Dry bag, size is number three. I'm not sure how, but it's um, waterproof, folded over and uh, store things so they don't get wet. A couple of small mini lanterns. This is the um, Coleman propane. And then this one is camping gas. It uses the um, small disposable cylinders. It's their uh, Bivouac 270. Comes in the box, very nice condition. Here I have more carabiners. These are all Chouinard. Diamond C. So late 1970s, I think that is. Very nice and obviously very hard to find. And then uh, Another Forest Service compass. Case shows a little wear. These were, I think, 1940s and 1950s. Here are the uh, Patagonia Portland hats. Five of them with, uh, looks like, seven little stickers. And then this is the uh, Navajo rug. Hold it up here and get it a little better. So it's uh, 27 inches long by 18 inches wide. Looks like in very good condition. I know nothing about these little. This collection of MSR Whisper Light stoves and parts from a guy who uh, used to repair MSR stoves. So there are one, two, there's like two complete stoves. Um, one burner, and then uh, lots of extra pumps, and then all these parts. Um, so some prickers, I think this is a, it's for uh, expedition stove, a jet, wrenches. Well, I'm not even sure what all these little parts are for. Valves, it's a burner pump parts, uh, these are jets, um, well, there's a lot of o-rings, I see a pump, a couple pump leathers in there, those are, go to the bottles, some screens. So I bought all of this uh, out from him since I know you like to repair stoves. Some more items, this vest, the trucker's vest, probably 1970s Calcraft, nice fleece inside. There's no uh, size on the tag. It does say made in USA. A little bit of wear along the bottom. But it's very clean. I don't see any holes. And uh, nice color. Probably a small or medium size. That's just, that's nothing. Uh, U.S. Forest Service logo hat. It is embroidered. And uh, I don't think the hat has ever been worn. And then uh, Columbia, the 1980s hunting vest for your uh, 
shells. It is a size large. And uh, again, good, good condition. Yeah. Clean pocket. Uh, I don't see any rips or tears in the zipper. Uh, the zippers all work. Very good More condition. of Coleman items. This is the Oscar cooler. Nice and clean inside. Do it over and it's got a couple of cup holders. And I believe this was made um, it's got the date here September 1984 and then uh, 502 stove pretty clean little stove date 1267 I think that's in uh Pretty nice shape. Has some fuel in it, I'll definitely drain out. So here's the big cooler I just picked up for you. It does have some paint overspray on it that will come off. The latch works fine. You know, got a little bit of staining in there, but nothing broken. Hinges are good. Flip that over. Hinges are good. And the bottom is pretty clean. February 1977. One little spot here. Not too bad for $20. This is a very popular discontinued heater by Coleman. Focus 5. Runs on propane. Has the box, the manual. And uh, this, I think, is from 1988. Very good at providing quick heat. And um, has a uh, propane bottle in there. And I will light it here in a second and show you. And there it is, putting out the heat. So this is a new men's REI Pima Loft jacket. say men's large up there it's never been worn still has the tags uh, they call it rebel cloud jacket <laughs> nice and light and warm has a front pocket Two side zip pockets. I think it folds up to be pretty small in its own pocket. No snags, holes, very good condition. Okay, this is a double mantle lantern Roddy made by Union Metalworks Unimet in the 1960s. It is marked Hong Kong British Empire. Clean on the bottom, double mantle. I did light this up, it does work. It is clean inside, a little bit of chipping on the vent. These were a reproduction of the Coleman model. It is complete, pumps up, clean inside. It is an unmarked Good globe on there. And these are part of the lanterns I bought for you off that Craigslist ad down in Salem. Uh, CL2 or 288. Six of 85. That's a good globe on it. 220F. Six of 72. Uh, 
event chips. 200A has a later globe, a little dirty. It is um, nine of 59. That's not too bad. More from that group off the Craigslist to add. You get a case with this one. CL2. Nine of 84. Has a good globe, not the like the other one, but no cracks. That's a replacement globe. That has some chipping at the top. And a high vent 200A. It's not a black band, it's just very dirty. The date on it, it's also 59. So three of 59. And this one does have uh, a crack in the globe. Vent isn't too bad. Um, it's just dirty. And more from that Craigslist ad. A couple of big hats. This is in the box, 228F. Looks like it has a good globe, correct globe. It has a couple of marks on it. And it is dated October 1962. And this uh, 228D, a little bit on the vent, but not bad. Does have a good um, sunrise globe. And the date on this one is a little hard to read, but it's A, 1948. And here is the catalytic heater. It has two sets of instructions. 3500 BTU, it is dated five of 78. And it is complete with the snuffer.